morning and welcome to part two of my UX portfolio vlog. Part one of my vlog was basically you saw the process of me setting up the portfolio and doing my homepage. But now in this video, I'm gonna show you how I basically go about setting up the case studies. Now, this is a really important part of your portfolio and I'd say the meat of your portfolio because this is the main thing that employers look at and this is where this kind of sets you apart from other designers out there. I've been looking at a lot of different portfolios and to be honest, the competition is getting high and people are really stepping up their game and it's really an opportunity for you to kind of show off your designs, the process, the wireframing, the iterations, and all of the final solution UI elements. So I think it's important to be able to tell the story in a fluid manner where people could follow and also be able to show off all of your designs and your UI because if it's a clean design, it's really, really good. But it can't just be clean, it also has to be really good in the process. So make sure that you're thorough in your research and you're showing this part off. Okay, we're gonna start off with breakfast because I'm really hungry and then we're gonna start designing some things. I had some breakfast and then started off my case study by opening up a Google Doc. This is how I map out my thoughts and write a template so that I can get the basic skeleton of my case study. Typically this includes the overview, problem statement, and explanations of how I came across my design solutions. It took me a few hours to write down all my thoughts, but this will help you a lot in making your portfolio. Before you know it, it's time for lunch. I finished a few more designs at home before dinner. I worked on creating some nice mockups as visuals to showcase the dashboard I worked on. You can find a lot of mockups to download using Mockup World or Dribble. Okay, so now we're back home in my loft 
And I'd say today was a pretty productive day. I was able to design my user persona profiles. I was able to compile a lot of the screenshots that I wanted to use for my project. And so now all I have to do is basically I have to compile it all and put it into my Squarespace website and try to lay it out in a nice fluid manner that's really easy to follow. So that's gonna take some time, but it's gonna be really worth it. So we're gonna try doing that right now.